Hello friends, welcome to my channel Ikira Techies. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, we can see some code refactoring and also we can see the usage of asynchronous pipes. Now let me go to my application. We can start our implementation. So in my last video, I have completed my counter application. For that, we have created this state and then reduces and the final one is actions. Okay. So the first code refactoring we can do in our state level. So if you noted here in this initial state, we have only one property is a counter. Okay. And then the same state information we have consumed in our component side. Okay. So in our constructor side, we have injected our store like that. So now the thing is, Currently, we have only one property. If I am including three to four properties, the length should be very high. So, avoiding that, what we can do in our state level, we can use the model. Okay. So, here I am going to define our model. Export interface. Counter model. So our first two properties counter the data type is number okay so similarly we can declare the multiple variables okay so now let me change our state also now it is returning this counter model okay let me save this one then in our reducer side I believe there is no changes next in this action so in this action also there is no changes now let me move on our component side so in this component so in this store definition I have included like this counter and the data type is number so instead of that we can use our newly created model class counter model so let me save this one Okay, there is no issue it is working fine for the better coding practice this model also we can move in the separate file so let me create one separate ts file so we have declared it here so let me cut this one and we can move to our model file okay so now we are getting this error okay so since we created the new file so then we have to import this one so let me save this one similarly we can do in our common and said also remove the existing one that's it oh here we are getting error So then we have to type this one okay okay now it is imported so let me save this one okay now there is no error so the same thing we can apply for the next two components the second one is our counter button component counter model and the final one is our custom counter So let me save this one. So the functionality point of view, there is no error. So if I'm including like this, increment is working, decrement is working, reset also working. So our custom counter is working. This custom remove functionality. Okay, that also working fine. So now what I'm going to do, let me include one more field in our state side. So first let me include in the model. channel name okay so the data type I am providing string next in the state side channel name so this is the default value I am not going to change anywhere so in our display component before this h2 tag 
we can include one h1 tag there I am going to bind this one here we can use channel name since we not defined in our ts file so let me copy this one so in this ts file the initial value should be empty so after that we can get it here channel name equal to data dot channel name okay see so the text is coming and next if you want to change the channel name we can include one more button that we can include in our counter button component after the reset we can provide rename okay so the function I am providing on rename okay we can define this function next let me create our action so let me copy the existing one so here our action name is change channel name so the same unique name we can use it here also next in this property point of view I am going to pass the channel name only so that is the string channel now let me save this one next in our reducer side so we can use the same reducer after that let me include one more section so here first we need to pass the action that is change channel name so then we are returning the default state okay and here I am going to change the channel name only so from the action I am just returning this channel so now we have completed in our reducer side also next let me go back to our common side so here we can dispatch this action so this dot store dispatch change channel name okay so here we have to pass this channel let me provide welcome to Nihira Techies so initially we can see our channel name is Nihira Techies when I am clicking this rename it is changed into welcome to Nihira Techies so this is the way we have to use the model classes so the next thing is subscription so in our counter display component we have subscribed our store in order to we are displaying this data okay so once it is completed make sure we have to unsubscribe this one okay so now let me explain how to do this unsubscription so first let me declare one more variable that is counter subscribe and the data type is subscription okay that is belongs to the rxjs so let me import it sometime it will be imported automatically otherwise we have to do it in the manually okay subscription so we can use the same one here next let me get this value counter subscribe next I am going to implement one more hook so that is on destroy so using this quick fix option we have implemented this ng on destroy so here I am going to check if this dot counter subscribe so then we can unsubscribe it so the form should is completed we can verify whether it is working or not yeah the initial page is loaded or increment is working decrement is working rename and reset or custom counter okay everything is working fine so next let me explain 
how to bind this data without subscribing okay so if you noted so up to this area it is returning as the observable variable okay so here only we are subscribing and we are assigning to our uh, internal variables finally binding in our ui so instead of that we can directly bind this observable data also for doing this one i am going to declare one more variable counter counter dollar okay so basically dollar denotes uh, it is the observable data so the data type we can provide observable so this observable also belongs to our rx js only so let me use it here and then we have to provide our model class name that is the counter model so next what we can do after this subscription we can assign variable to into our observable variable this is just enough see it is a kind of observable data only so next let me copy this one and in our counter side instead of this counter display I am using this counter dollar okay so let me say this one so if you noted here we will get us the object object okay so then you may think like so since we are getting this object so then if I am including like this means whether we get the data definitely no if it is the normal object we can get the data since it is the observable so we cannot directly get like this so even if I am checking also I am getting the error only okay so in this scenario we have to use the asynchronous pipe so let me explain here yes ONC and we have to check it is nullable so let me format it see now the data is coming so the form quality also working fine so similarly we can change this channel name also so let me copy the same thing and instead of this counter we have to provide the channel name so here all are small letter only so here we have to change like this now let me save this one so there is no error and also we can see the initial data are binded so next to what I am going to do in our counter display side we can command this subscription and everything okay and also this ng destroy that also it's not needed since we are not subscribing so let me command everything so we can move this function the bottom anyway for the reference I am having it as the commanded lines okay so we have this much only we are just getting this observable data the data is binding since our increment is working decrement is working research rename so our custom counter it's working so if I'm removing okay this is working fine I hope you got some better idea about this asynchronous pipe using that how to directly bind this observable data without subscribing and also if you are already subscribed how to do this and subscription and also how to use the model classes in our store so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching